Hi again everyone, Mahmoud here from the Greenhouse Gas Reporting Program. In this video, I will be demonstrating how you can use the ECCC and Partners GHG reporting module in SWIM to report your base metal expanded emissions data to Environment and Climate Change Canada. Please make sure that you watch my previous general expanded video as it touches upon the fuel combustion and on-site transportation screens, which are both required to complete your expanded reporting requirements for the base metal production expanded sector. So let's get started. The base metal production screen will be available if you have selected the base metal production activity from the facility activity screen. In addition to providing fuel combustion and on-site transportation information, you also need to provide specific information related to base metal production. So from this screen, you can fulfill reporting requirements in Schedule 18 of the notice. This includes production and emissions related to the metals being produced and information regarding input and output process materials. So from this screen, you can fulfill reporting requirements in Schedule 18 of the notice. This includes production and emissions related to the metals being produced and information regarding input and output process materials. Please keep in mind that the system will log you out after 20 minutes of inactivity. So please make sure that you constantly save your data so that no data entered is lost by clicking on the Save Continue button at the bottom of the screen. So it's always best to have all your information on hand while filling in your report. So clicking on the Add icon under either the Carbon Containing Process Input Material or Carbon Containing Process Output Material headings will display the following screen. From here, you can fill in the material type so enter a value in uh, for the quantity in tons and annual weighted average carbon content for input and or output materials used in the metal production process. Once all information has been entered, click Save. And this will take you back to the base metal production screen. So let's go ahead and fill in this piece of information. And now click on Save. And please enter and save any additional input and output materials as needed. So I'm going to do an example for an output material now. So reporters may also include additional information via an optional upload if there is additional information that is not already captured. So let's fill in the remaining information for this screen. So once all relevant data has been entered, click on Validate. This will check to see if there are any issues or missing information. And if there are no issues, you will notice a green check mark right beside the me base metal production activity on the left hand menu. And now you can click on Save Continue. So next are the General Reporting Requirements screen, sections A, B, and C. Once you have completed your expanded screens for base metal production, the Load Activity Emissions into Section A, B, and C button will appear at the top of Section A as shown now. So please select Load Activity Emissions into Section A, B, and C to load information entered from the expanded screens into Sections A, B, and C of the report. This will ensure that the emission totals in section A, B, and C correspond to the information entered for the activities selected. This is an expected outcome. If for a particular reason a change in the total is required, it is highly recommended that the, that the load activity emissions into section A, B, and C option is still used and then the specific emissions totals are adjusted as necessary. So let's go ahead and use this option. 
and click on yes. And now my information from the, acti from the activity screens are loaded into sections A, B, and C of the report. So from here, please complete the remaining screens for comments and confidentiality requests. I should note that where emission totals have been adjusted from what was initially loaded from the activity screens, please include comments in your reports to explain why this was the case. After that is complete, you will be able to submit your report. If you require guidance on how to complete the remaining screens, please follow the guidance given in the general reporting requirements video as you will be required to follow the exact same steps in order to submit your report. So this concludes the demonstration video for the base metal production expanded screens. Thank you all for watching.